Hey, hello friends. Welcome again uh, to the session on polynomials and we are learning unique techniques of multiplication and division. And in this case, in this session, we are going to understand how to divide a polynomial by another polynomial uh, in easier steps. Though it resembles very much the long division method, but then uh, we call it method of detached coefficients when you are dealing with theory of equations and higher polynomials little later then uh, these uh, techniques become really really handy so what is this method of detached coefficients like in the previous session which we saw in wherein we multiplied two polynomials by just keeping the variables away and then simply dealing with the coefficients likewise here also we will be dividing one polynomial by another one by simply you know manipulating the coefficients and nothing else but before that as we did in the multiplications case we have to make sure that the polynom polynomials are complete. That means all the powers of uh, the variable is there in the polynomial. So let's first, uh, you know, take this example wherein uh, we have to divide x to the power 8 plus x to the power 7 plus 3x to the power 4 minus 1 by x to the power 4 minus 3x cubed plus 4x plus 1. Clearly, both of them are not complete. So after completing, if you see, what will be the polynomials? like so this is x to the power 8 x to the power 7 0 x 6 and 0 times x 5 and 3 times x to the power 4 then uh, we have uh, plus 0 times x cubed plus 0 times x squared plus 0 times x and then minus 1 this is a very long polynomial no problem and you know uh, the divisor is so this was dividend and this is divisor. Divisor is x to power 4 minus 3x cubed plus 0x squared plus 4x plus 1. Isn't it? Looks very simple. Now how to go about it? So obviously you can't be writing all those powers of x again and again. So like you used to do it. So let's first write the divisor on the left hand side. So and only the coefficients. We'll detach the coefficients. That means this becomes 1. And just keep a track of all the divisors 1 minus 3 0 4 and 1 these are the coefficients of the divisor right and let's write the coefficients of the dividend 1 1 0 0 3 0 0 0 minus 1 correct so let it be like that i hope this is understood to you so we have just detached the coefficients and wrote them in a line now what now you follow the usual division method so hence let's say first this is the target one and we have to make sure what should i multiply this one here uh, so that i get one in this case so simply write one so one this one what all what all things are getting multiplied so this one is getting multiplied by this one to fetch you this one so just like another you know so it's like i'm doing the same long division method but i have just kept the variables away that's it okay so uh simply if i write one then my problem is this minus three zero four one then subtract usually the way we follow so four zero minus four and two okay and then take this zero down this one here comes down here okay then next one definitely this will be plus four don't write you know plus and you know like that it will confuse you so like four only so four times one is four then minus three minus twelve zero sixteen and four i hope this is becoming oh no this is not you know something which you can't understand again subtract so this is zero this is twelve this is minus four this is uh, minus fourteen and this is minus four and now this zero comes here so zero again what should be the next one Okay, so clearly zero. Oh, sorry, no zero is not zero. Sorry, this one is the first one now. So what should I what should I write here? Twelve clearly. So twelve will give you twelve. Minus twelve. Uh, twelve times minus three is minus thirty six. Okay, so I hope you're understanding. So this twelve is getting multiplied by one first, then minus three, then zero, then four, then one like that. So twelve times minus three is minus thirty six. Twelve times zero is zero. Twelve times four is 48 and this is 12 subtract again first one gets cancelled this becomes 32 this becomes minus 14 this becomes minus 52 
and this becomes minus 12 and then bring down this 0 0 now what very clearly this should be 32 so when 32 times 1 is 32 then 32 times minus 3 is 9 minus 96 correct then it is 0 then it is 32 times 4 is 128 and 32 times 1 is 32 okay now subtract again so what will happen this will go and this will be plus 82 yep this will be minus 52 this will be minus 140 and this is minus 32 and then bring down this minus 1 okay so minus 1 okay now what 82 multiply by 82 so you get 82 82 times 3 is uh, 246 so minus 246 82 times 0 is 0 82 times 4 is um 328 yes 328 and 82 times 1 is 82 so now what is the uh, this thing leftover thing this is the one this 246 minus 52 is 1 sorry plus 194 and this one is uh, minus 140 this one is minus 360 and this one is minus 83 okay now you know more can divide so now you would have guessed by you know what would be the quotient and what would be the remainder so my dear friends what would be the quotient and what would be the remainder okay now quotient is simply so you have to start with x to the power 0 then plus x to the power 1 then this is x squared x cubed and x to the power 4 right simply now attach so while we detach the coefficients now we attach here also it will be 83 and then minus 360 x minus 140 x square and x cube okay so you have to write quotient is x to the power 4 plus 4 x cubed plus 12 x squared plus 32 x plus 82 this one is your quotient and what is the remainder remainder is 194 x cubed minus 140 x squared minus 360 x minus 83 okay so this is quotient this is remainder so though so what is the learning in this process it's not different from long division but the only thing is you need not keep a track of all the variables you can just detach the coefficient and go for uh, the division which you have been doing so far right so it will save some of your efforts in the next session we'll learn synthetic synthetic division of polynomial by linear polynomials